Hi, Pastor Billy Burke here. I'm sending this message out to all of our partners, especially across the United States, around the world, those of you that are partners, those of you that have been praying, those of you that have been supporting our ministry during this global shutdown, those of you that have been calling into the office relentlessly with a good heart, when's there gonna be meetings? I wanna get to a meeting, I wanna get to another healing service. I mean, we've had so much response. We've kept the ministry going, God has kept it, He's sustained us. We've been on, you know, streaming online, a virtual miracle service, every Saturday and Sunday night for over a year now. And needless to say, the ministry has grown uh, so proportionately. I mean, the phone calls, the testimonies, the miracles, and we've been grateful for that. But I'm here today to tell you about something even more exciting. We're back in public meetings. We're back. I mean, you have to think about this. Uh, first of all, they didn't allow so many people in a meeting. Then you had the social distancing and you had the mask. None of that was conducive, advantageous for miracle healing services. But it, even in light of that, I felt in my heart, I didn't want to bring anybody into harm's way. I don't want to get people into a situation where they had to make a decision between this and I just didn't want to do that. I prayed. I wasn't just fighting the government or the public or, no, I really prayed. I said, Lord, for, for this ministry, other ministries did what they were supposed to do. But for Billy Burke, this ministry, I've waited. But I'm here to tell you, we've been back, we've been doing public meetings. We were at the Christian retreat in Bradenton, Florida with my dear friends, the Dursteins. We were in Louisville, Kentucky with Pastor Bob Rogers. And I just came from a great church over in Virginia, you know, with Pastor Randy and Cherie Gilbert. I mean, the turnout, amazing. The miracles over the top. Back in the public meetings, that's what I'm here to tell you. You know, and I would never, ever do that. I would never bring any of you into a place that I didn't believe that the heavens were opened, that the love of God was prevailing, and that the miracle-working power is greater and stronger than ever before. I do believe we're on the cuspus. We're right on the edge of the greatest wave of signs and wonders we've ever seen. I really believe that. And we're seeing signs of that. We're not all the way back, but we're making great strides to be back. And so I want to invite you. We have some up and coming meetings. I want you to make the best effort you can from wherever you live. Some of these are just a few weeks away, some into the summer, and we'll be adding more dates to this calendar as they come about. It takes great planning, a lot of prayer. It takes raising the right amount of finances to be able to, to have the team there that we need to better serve the people that come, and they are coming. I mean, they're coming on planes, trains, buses. They're coming on private limos. They're coming sick, broken, paralyzed, some with death sentences. Just in the Bob Rogers meeting, someone healed completely of pancreatic cancer. Another blind man healed. I mean, it's amazing to see what God is about to do in spite of all of the attempts of the devil through whom he uses. In spite of all of that, here's what the scripture says, the Lord, thy God, in the midst of thee is mighty. I'm telling you something Catherine Kuhlman used to say. She'd say, you know, something that is cheap is really cheap. But she said, when it comes to the power of God and the anointing and the presence, the presence of the Holy Spirit is costly. I mean, this is a different hour. Ladies and gentlemen, we're embarking on a journey that few have ever dared to believe we would see, but we're seeing it. In just a few short weeks, I believe it's May the 16th and the 17th, I'll be in person, live meetings in Pittsburgh, downtown, right at the Station Square, in the heart of the city. We have made contract with the Sheraton Inn. We have the whole Grand Ballroom. 
We're expecting capacity and more. That's May 16, Sunday night at seven o'clock. Monday morning, I'll be doing a teaching on visitation in the city of Pittsburgh. If you're a leader, if you're a lay person, if you're a hungry believer, come and be with me on that Monday morning. We're gonna talk about the impact you can make in that great city of Pittsburgh. And then another miracle service on Monday night. So that's three services in two days. Sunday night, the 16th, Monday morning, the 17th, Monday night, the 17th. So both services in the evening are at 7 p.m. The Monday morning service, 10 a.m. And that's gonna go roughly till around 12, 1230. Come and be with me, be a part of this. The number's on your screen. You can call and be a part of this, or you can also bring a van, bring some people from your church if you can. I mean, it's going to be that powerful. I believe that. And then on the, uh, in June the 4th through the 8th, mark this down, June 4th through the 8th, I'll be in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And this is with my good friends Paul and Karen Brady. And they're going to be dedicating and opening up a new facility right there in Tulsa, the former facility of T.L. Osborne. It was formerly his headquarters. But this building's been acquired, being renovated by my dear friends Paul and Karen. And we're expecting capacity crowds every time we've been there. Some of the miracles. Oh, my. One man healed of a double hernia. Another little boy had red glasses, couldn't see without them. Boom, the glasses came off cancer healed, people from outside the country. This is in that millennial church, and that is June the 4th through the 8th. Get there. Make an honest effort to get there. In Jesus' day, they walked. They came by camels. They came by rowboats. You know, in our day, we can catch a plane, a train. We can get an Uber. I mean, get to these meetings. I believe they're going to make all the difference for many of you. And then I can't wait, June the 24th and 25th, coming back to Eagle Mountain International Church, EMIC, to be with my good friends, Pastors George and Terry Pearson. It's also the headquarters for the Kenneth Copeland International Ministry. Every time we've been at one of these miracles on the mountain, I'm not sure if this is the fifth or the sixth, take your breath away, miracles. I mean, there's something that God always seems to reserve for these days. And we've had people flying from Peru, Colombia, I mean, all over the world. And the overflows get packed, get there early, but get your tickets now. If you wanna know how we can help you with getting the tickets, maybe booking those tickets in some way, you know, we can put you in touch with a travel agency or somebody maybe in your area, but I want you there. Bring the sick, bring the suffering, if you need to be encouraged, if you want to be part of the impartation service, I know pastors George and Terry will be teaching those mornings on prayer, intercession. Hey, we're expecting the windows to open. That means the portals. That's what a window is. It's a portal. It's an entrance into the glory that I believe is going to fall on all of these services in Pittsburgh in just a few short weeks. You don't have much time for Pittsburgh. Make your reservations now. It's worth the airfare. Yeah, but that costs money. It costs to be in pain. It costs to remain sick and weak. It costs for fear to reign. It's evil tear over our lives. Enough is enough. We've been shut down, but we can't be shut up. Do you hear me? We can be, you know, we can be temporarily affected, hindered, but we can't be stopped. The devil doesn't have all the power. He's on a leash. And we're, we're about to really come into all of these places. I believe Pittsburgh, Tulsa, Eagle Mountain, and there's more of this being scheduled right here in Tampa Bay, Sarasota, Orlando, and we're planning something big in Miami and the South Beach area. On and on and on. I, I just can't tell you the heartbeat that I feel for these people that need help. And it's not just the sick and the suffering. It's people that need help. They need an impartation. You know, they need a release to go and touch the sick and the suffering in their circles, in their churches. I believe because of these services, not only will people be healed and set free, but churches are going to catch fire. They're going to get so turned on to Jesus and to the presence of that third person, the Holy Spirit. 
I know I was one day a long time ago. God's healed me twice of cancer, both at death's door twice, once as a young boy, once as a man, 2003. And I'm here to tell you that God, God still does miracles. That's what Mark 10, 27 says, with God, all things are possible. I wanted to get this message to you. I don't want it just to be a commercial, advertising a service. I want to come to you person, face to face, heart to heart. I want you to feel the flow of what could, think about what a miracle could do for you. And if you're thinking, you know, well, I tried that, I had prayer, I'm standing in faith. We all need to have our faith strengthened. And sometimes whatever price we're willing to pay, God's willing to let that glory flow down to you. The leper had to leave his colony, had to come out of the mountains. Jesus didn't go to him. That leper had to make great effort to get to Jesus against all the restrictions of the priest, against all the restrictions of the city code. He came and Matthew 8, Jesus touched him and he was healed. When they carried the man on the bed, I mean, the opposition that he had, the, the place was packed out, he couldn't get in. Did he stop? No, they put him up on the roof. Then when they uncovered the roof, then they lowered effort. The Bible is filled with people that had to put forth great effort. They walked, they rode camels, they went on boats in the middle of storms just so they could get near the man from Galilee. I believe that man from Galilee is none other than Jesus the Christ, the Messiah, the Yeshua HaMashiach, the soon and the coming King. And I believe in this hour we're going to see such great manifestations. And I'm just here to invite you to a front row seat. I want you to experience all that God has for you. And I'm expecting, as I'm even giving this, this invitation to you, if you only knew the Pittsburgh meeting, the Tulsa meeting, the Fort Worth meeting, if you only knew a little bit after the fact, I mean, you'd be making your reservation right now. I don't think I've ever done a commercial quite like this. Maybe it's been shut up for a year, put down, the gospel been demeaned. You know, you can't touch people, can't get near people. The devil knows the power of human transmission. He knows that this anointing is effective from a distance as much as it is skin to skin. But the church hasn't been versed in the long distance. Get ready, God's getting ready to do hands on. He's getting ready to do miles away, television to the people, internet to the people. He's getting ready to break every yoke the enemy has sandbagged this last year with. This is our breakout season. Come and be a part of this. The number's at the bottom of your screen. You can email me at billyburke.org. Our website is still under construction. We plan on having that up and ready, uh, announcing these meetings, giving you more and more information, how you can not just get healed, but how you can nurture this anointing to be who God's intended you to be and to do what he's called you to do and to have everything he wants you to have to be it, to do it, and to have it. Come and be with me in these meetings. I pray you will. There's more information. Go to the website, billyburke.org. Till I see you there or in some other kind of a meeting on our virtual healing services, which is every Saturday night, 7 o'clock, Facebook Live, YouTube.com. We'll see you real soon. God bless you. Bye-bye.